this is a Star News Brief. I'm Samuel Otieno. It was a day of high drama as anti-corruption watchdog ACC arrested former Treasury CS Ukuri Atani and Marsabit Governor Mohamud Ali alongside a section of their family members and officials over an 8.2 billion shillings graft case. Wali Atani was driven to the ESCC headquarters after a protracted standoff with detectives at his current home. Members of the public raided the commission's Isiolo office where Mohamud was being detained and held him shoulder high to protest the police quote-unquote harassment. On his part, Mar- Sabit Governor Ali Mohamud alongside the three county officials were taken to the commission's Isiolo office for questioning. In total, up to nine suspects were nabbed in the operation, but it took the intervention of locals in Isiolo that raided the ESCC offices where Mohamud was being detained and carried him shoulder high in protest of the arrest. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. The DCI homicide detectives revealed Wednesday that they are at advanced stages of investigation of the monstrous murder of university student Rita Waini. The 20-year-old student's young life was ended on January 13, 2024 by yet to be arrested cold-blooded killers or killer. Further detailed statements by persons of interest have been recorded and more data sourced from digital platforms to ensure all leads to Waini's killers or killer are utilized. Unfortunately, the prime suspect in the murder, a man only captured by CCTV, TV cameras walking Waini to a scene of death remains free, and the DCI homicide team is sparing no resource in his pursuit. President William Ruto's lieutenants in parliament are pushing for the replacement of the presidential jet, citing safety concerns in the wake of the chopper crash that killed General Francis Ogola last Thursday. The MPs led by Kilifi North MP Owen Bayer, who is also the deputy majority leader, want the budget committee to consider starting the journey of buying a new official plane for the president this financial year. The presidential jet famously known as Arambe 1 is a Fokker 70 extended range aircraft. It was brought into the country in December 1995. The MP said it's time the jet is replaced to not only ensure the safety of the president, but also those of the officers from the Kenya Air Force who operate it. MPs have moved to alter the National Dialogue Committee report, ignoring the opposition demands that the document be passed without any amendment. National Assembly's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee has tabled a report in Parliament, proposing amendments to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Amendment Bill 2024. Azimio argued the document is negotiated and should be ring-fenced from any amendments by the legislators. In the changes currently being considered before Parliament, the committee has proposed changes to the length of time for elections audit by the IEBC, as well as the terms of office for the electoral agency's chief executive officer. To be a general in any military formation is probably the highest accord you can ever aspire to be in the profession of arms. It is a pyramid top. And statistics the world over confirm that generally only 1% of a cadet class reach the rank of general. In every sense, you have to be lucky to be a general. That all the stars in the firmament get arranged in some strange pattern to enable you to take over the general's baton. His mother was tall for a woman. His father was about a relatively tall, baby-faced, slim, and soft-spoken man man and having worked with the general closely, I can attest that he took over this character trait and physique of the senior. I joined the Kenya Navy as a seaman, a sailor the lowest rank after recruit training, and shortly after in early 1988 after attaining the corporal's rank, a new batch of newly promoted fresh-faced naval officers reported to the Navy ready to be broken into sailors. Lieutenant Charles Kahariri was one of them. Get a copy of the star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.